inspiration of love has come forth. The Lord has sent forth his most regal eagle of the eon, which is his dove of love, his words of comfort unto the nations. So the, uh, our Messiah of love of all people sends forth his love and greetings. And he says unto all people, he says, Fear not, come unto me all who are weary and suffer and strife and affliction, for my my peace will strengthen and comfort you. But let the wise now understand that fear is nothing more than an obstacle standing in the way of peace's progress. For only by overcoming fear may anyone become stronger and wiser than they were before. Blessed is the one hearing the reading of this holy word of the manifestation of Habakkuk 2's vision of God, the prophecy therein. And blessed are those of truth hearing it and taking it to heart, the high praises of the Most High Lord God that are written within this word of love. Higher truths bring forth greater blessings, says the Lord. But even more blessed are those hearing this preordained word of love uh, who puts its wisdom into action. For it's the fearful time of the day uh, as the Lord God Almighty draws near, as, as I stand as one of the deliverers of earth and men, one like Moses, Deuteronomy 18, 18. And verily, verily, the Lord says that his everlasting love is joyful, but it is also generous, strong, and patient. Uh, patient. For his affliction is always faithful and wise, Due to much long suffering, evermore shall his love be courageous. So beware, O followers, though, for as a ship without a helm is driven to and fro by the waves, so also is any careless person who recklessly abandons their proper course. Uh, as such fools become tempted in many ways, as their drifting souls begin wandering aimlessly without any vision, and we are destroyed if we have no vision for lack of knowledge. And know that uh, such people don't realize that they would perish. So let, the Lord says, let all of my people now realize that without the way, there is no going. Without the truth, there is no knowing. And without life, there is no living. All is vanity except to love the Lord God and to serve him. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all things shall be added unto you, says our love of the ages. And it's time that we realize that he who loves with purity considers not the gift of the giver, but always the love of the giver instead. And that is the truest truth. So it's time to all of us arise and to celebrate all followers of love, for God's love flies, and it runs and rejoices, uh, and nothing can ever hold it back. It is unstoppable, and so his love is, he arises, and all of our hatefulness is but as clouds, dust under his feet. So praise God, it's time that we come to realize that, uh, that the very worst kind of thing that we can do is to have inaction. There is no greater sin than to know to do something good and not to do it. And so let all wise people now reflect and meditate upon the Lord's loving kindness, which he has been sending through his Islamic dove of peace unto mankind, born upon the loudest beats of his breaking heart that wants to mend by love that he's sending all people. And so now shall the Lord's arm uh, arm God's servants, and let those upon whom the dove shall alight be well prepared for spiritual battles, for they'll evermore be surrounded by evil enemies who could never fi find rest. So finally meditate well upon the truest truth that pride is concerned uh, with who is right. Pride is always concerned who is right, but humility remains concerned by what is right, not who, in spite of all ignorance. 
and it's time that we understand finally in this age that the wisdom of the Lord is knowledge. It's time to choose life, reject death, the stupidity of uh, Iblis, what he has left behind in the wake of his banishment has been nothing but ignorance. And there is no darker ignorance than ignorance of love alone. And God cannot be mocked, and neither can his dove of love, because what I am sending forth in this wor world is words of his dedication, that is mankind's inheritance. So, O oh, children of the Most High, uh, for just as every famine has a beginning, so too does history repeat itself by them having an end, including the very worst famines. So let this chain of many blessings through these videos remain unbroken as people arise to, to um, embrace all that glorifies the Lamb of God. We don't want to get into cursing that which, which brings glory to him. Uh, it is written in Malachi 2 that if people do not embrace uh, that which glorifies the Lord, that he would not be a happy camper. And actually what it says, if you read Malachi 2, uh, it says that he would take shit pie. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> He'd take a shit pie from our feasts and he would rub it in the faces that are not lifting up that which glorifies him. Uh-oh. <laughs> True story.